Hello everyone, I am Bilge Khan and today we will discuss uh, elastic collision and as a result of it, this collision uh, the new momentum uh, conservation and the uh, angular momentum conservation. Let's see first the diagram and what happens in there. Uh, in there, there is a beam with uh, length of h and uh, the mass of 4m for big m and slides from b velocity in the ice region and finally it is at the end a man with the mass of m and uh, the question asks us uh, what is the final speed of this system with the man and the uh, beam at the, in the b section with what angular velocity does the system rotate about center of mass now for the first uh, part what is the final speed uh, we can uh, calculate this from the uh, conservation of the linear momentum because this is the ice region and there is no external force so the system with this beam and the man uh, should be a conservative system and therefore the linear momentum is conserved and the elastic collision happens therefore uh, we can write uh, linear momentum initial equals linear momentum final and therefore let's calculate the uh, initial momentum linear momentum and the initial linear momentum is uh, this b with 4m and the v velocity 4m times v velocity and the man is at initially uh, stops and holds all to that so his velocity is zero therefore it's equals to uh, the final momentum and in final momentum since this is an elastic collision and you know uh, they uh, move it forward in the same direction uh, the total uh, Sorry, this is, this is not this is inelastic collision. Sorry for this. And therefore, uh, they you know collide each other and stick them. Uh, so the v final times the uh, mass of beam for m plus this should be also big m plus the mass of man big m. So you can see that v final equals in that uh, 4 over 5 we can say that now for the part B uh, we should uh, you know calculate the angular momentum with respect to the center of mass therefore uh, actually the initial uh, you know moment of inertia of the beam is given us as one of the formula as 1 over 12 m times mass times r square and now let's calculate you know how far away the center of mass in here because the center of mass uh, you know between from the, this beam and the man but since we are just you know when they stick each other a uh, system like that man in here so this should only just you know find the uh, vertical differentiation of the uh, center of mass so let's calculate it for the, this system we can calculate it as, you know, this is the stick, this is the stick's mass, center of mass, this is the mass center of mass. So here we have 4m, here we have 1m, and the distance between them is h over 2. So uh, the center of mass should be in here, and for the, you know, uh, relation, this part is, if for L I say, this part should be L. So, uh, 5L is equals to h over 2 so we can see that in here L is equal to h over 10 so we found the center of mass position uh, and then we should calculate the moment of inertia of this beam and this man uh, according to this center of mass so we will use parallax theorem to find the these center of, um, moment of inertia of these systems and this is not this beam. So actually, the initial uh, the moment of inertia of the beam with respect to center of mass equals to uh, BCM, let's call this. I beam, this beam, uh, I beam, yes. Plus, with the parallel axis theorem, uh, we slide the you know, center of mass, the distance from it, uh, from the center of mass of system, and the beam is. Uh, h over 10 this is our radius so we have to take the square of this and plus uh, I should you know multiply the 
mass of the field for that. And I know I will in here, so I will put for the M in here uh, for M, and I will use R for the hash, so I D is equals to in here it comes up uh, M R square M hash square, sorry over three. You see that now. Uh, I can see that in here the total amount of inertia it comes in here m over m high square over 3 and in here m high square over 12 it comes so after some uh, operations we have 28 over 75 uh, m high square for the man uh, it's actually we can think as a point in here, a point in here. So the total distance is that is initial uh, moment of inertia is zero. Therefore, I will just use the parallax theorem for the Iman. So uh, Iman equals uh, the distance between the his man and the center of mass is uh, four over ten times hash. So uh, his, his, you know, mass is m times 4 over 10 hash square. So we will obtain here uh, 4 over 25 uh, m hash square. Actually, this is equal to, uh, let's calculate, 8, 12 over 75 times m hash square. So we found there. Uh, moment of inertia, so we can, you know, conserve, can use the conservation of the angular momentum. How we do that? Uh, how we do that? Why we do that? Because in the system, in the system, uh, we don't have any external torque affects the system. Therefore, the uh, angular momentum of the system is conserved. And why we use that? To find the final uh, angular velocity. Uh, because for the L initial, I will use uh, m times, uh, yes, the m times total m, uh, the m of b, because initially the man is stays in here, 4 m times v, uh, which is equal to in that v, as well, and times r, and the, you know, where is the center of mass in here? There. So, uh, actually, initially, how the Central mass is in here, somewhere like that. But uh, when I take the you know uh, vector product with v and the distance r, uh, it's actually equal to this distance, the distance from the center of mass of beam and the center of mass uh, of the system. So therefore, I will use uh, as I calculate in here, l equals hash over ten, and the distance between the center of masses is hash over ten. So I will use hash over ten in here. Uh, this is equals to my initial angular momentum. And what is my final momentum, angular momentum? Uh, actually, it's equal to I system times the angular velocity. Am I right? Yes. So I can calculate, I know they are equal to each other. So uh, L initial, uh, actually, this 2 over 5 times V times hash h equals to uh, l final i system is basically some of these two moment of inertia some of the moment of inertia of the man and the beam so we can see that 12 in here and 28 in here so 40 over 85 75 sorry uh, m hash square times the omega desired uh, unknown. So I can see that this five cancels this five in here, and here I will with, you know come up with fifteen, and also this five cancels each other. So I will obtain in here eight and three. So two cancels this two, and I will obtain four. So uh, I can see that my omega is equals to in here three comes here, four comes here, so three over four. Times 
we h i have in here, but m h square i have in here too. So b over m h I can say. Right? Oh sorry, sorry. Sorry for that. Because I forgot in here m. And also we can see that omega is basically uh, velocity over some distance, so some unit that contains met meter unit, some unknown or no magnitude value. So this m cancels in here as well. I will come up with 2 over 4 b over h. So uh, if you have any questions, you can leave a comment. So I hope this video will be beneficial for you. Thank you.